again with another countries video. So yeah, here we go. So today we are on Macedonia, and it's like it's going to be a longish one, considering the script's like twelve pages long. So yeah, here goes. Nasoni can be seen as kind of like a young state coming into independence in 1991. So it's a little warm today. I'll go and open the windows quickly. Aside from all the way this is like pretty warm today. So yeah. Although Macedonia can be seen as young going again in like independence in nineteen ninety one, which is relatively recent compared to some. I guess we we just go deeper into history and all that. And the name Macedonia is the oldest surviving name of a country in the continent of Europe. And archaeological evidence shows that like old European civilizations flourished in Macedonia somewhere around so like around seven thousand to three thousand five hundred BC. Which is quite some time ago now. And is located near the centre of the southern Balkans, like north of like Greece, east of Illyria and west of Thrace. The ancient Macedonians were a distinct nation ethnically, linguistically and culturally, different from their neighbours and the origins of the Macedonians are in the ancient Bajin substratum which occupied the whole of the Macedonian, of the Macedonian territory and in the Europe Superstratum, which was settled in the second millennium BC, I think. Nice work again. The history of the ancient Macedonian kingdom began with Caronicus. He became the first king from 1808 to 778 BC. And the the uh, Macedonian dynasty Argende uh, originated from Argos Aristikon, a city located in the southwestern Macedonian region of Aristis. Alexander I or Philhellene from 498 to 454 BC expanded did the kingdom, and by the 5th century BC, the Macedonians had forged a united, unified kingdom, and Alexander was a Persian ally in the Greek Persian Wars, as Macedonia appears to be on the ish international scene. So, yeah, and the first claims of the king's name on them are made around the year around 460 BC as Herodotus. So John's a Macedonian in Macedonian gives an interpretatio Macedonian of the Greek Persian Wars. So yeah. Alexander's son, Perdiccas the second, from four fifty three to four thirteen BC. Makes them starting war between Athens the Athens Maritime Power and Sparta, which led to the Polynesian follow Planetian League and indicated the creation of the Olefin League from the Greek colonies neighbouring Macedonian Chalcidice for war against Athens and during the Peloponnesian War. Perdiccas is 
There's one moment on this side of Athens and the next on Sparsus. And if I land in Macedonia's best interests of not wanting either of them to become too powerful, while keeping its country in sovereignty at the expense of the Greek, Greek quarrels, kind of thing. And it was Archelaus from 413 to 399 BC. He made Macedonia a significant economic power. Archelaus made straight roads, built fortresses, and reorganized like the Macedonian army. And he moved the Macedonian capital Agae to Pella, and founded the Macedonian Olympian Games in Dion, the holy city of the Macedonians. And among the other reasons, he also became the fact that the Greek Olympic Games were forbidden to the barbarians. Macedonians included in that. And in the year 406, the Macedonian poet. Adaius wrote an epitaph tap, for the gravestone of Euripides, who was staying in Macedonian place for Archelaus. Euripides, besides the apologetic work of Archelaus, also wrote the well known play of Bacche. Inspired by the Macedonians' court for the god of god Dionysus, Dionysus, and the Macedonian councils of few to give a very pious body to his birthplace Athens, and during the year of four hundred six, four hundred seven, from Athens was seen the title of title of Proxenos and Eugretes. And I mean, Tas, the third reign from 393 to 317, 369 BC, as it's not completely certain, I don't think. And like, like a policy of exhaust, <laughs> and we can have Greek city states. And his two sons, Alexander II and Periodicus III, reigned only later, only briefly. As Alexander II had an expansionist policy and invaded northern Greece. And in Thessaly, he left Macedonian garrisons in the city and refused to evacuate them. The Thebans, who were at the time the most powerful military, intervened and forced the removal of the garrisons. And Alexander II's youngest brother, Philip, was taken hostage to Thebes. And after the death of Alexander II, his own brother Perdiccas III took the throne, but Perdiccas was killed with 4,000 of his Macedonian soldiers in a battle with the Illyrians. And Amintas, third son, Philip II, now became the next Macedonian king. And Philip II, from 359 to 336 BC, is considered to be like the greatest man that Europe has ever been given. And the way to the unified Macedonian turned into the first European power. And in the modern sense of the word and like an armed nation with common national ideal. And he subdued the Macedonian neighbours like the Illyrians, Thracians and Greeks, which made Macedonia the most powerful kingdom in the Balkans. And was especially brutal towards like the Greek cities at the edge of Macedonia and there is also a ground including major Greek centre of Alinfus and Stagaria like, which was Aristotle's birthplace and saw the inhabitants into slavery and in 838 the Greeks unified to prevent Philip from penetrating southern Greece but the Macedonians defeated the Greeks at the Battle of Chauania, and Philip became a uh, herdsman to the Greeks who had no choice but to ratify his peace agreement. Kian Ere, no? The Greeks had to swear that they would obey the condition, conditions and they would not, will not rebel. And not only against Philip, but also against his successors. And four Macedonian strategical garrisons in Corinth, Theban. Cadmia 
Chelsis, on Huber Ewa, and on Rika. Uh, they were a guarantee of a Macedonian, held of Greece, and a mutual police, Kion Ariane, dictated by the Congress, who was not a league that they league at all. I did not have the word Simachia, but for a fiction which was a disguised Macedonian dominance in Greece, a temporary institution in for including Greek palace in the mar monarchy, but more easily, much more easily. And what the conqueror of Greece was assassinated, assassinated boy could lead the Macedonians into conquest of the Persian Empire during the wedding celebration of his daughter Cleopatra. And his son Alexander the Third, also known as Alexander the Great, from 356 to 323 BC, succeeded his father at the age of 20. And he really puts down the rebellions of the Thracians, Illyrians, and Greeks, who revolted upon hearing upon hearing Philip's death. And in Greece, he raised the major city centre of Thebes to the ground after a slaughter of 6,000 people and sold the it's like seven thirty thousand inhabitants into slavery as a warning to the Greek what would happen if they were to rebel again. And next as a head of Macedonian and allied Greek Illyrian Thracian troops he he invaded Persia. And the Greek soldiers did not participate in any of the battles because they were hostages for peace and guarantee for safety of Macedonian occupation forces in Greece. And not only did they not have any important roles in battle, but there were no Greek commanders, either since the Macedonians commanded their ranks. And Alexander's victories in Granicus, Issus and Gogmala put an end to the Persian Empire, which was then replaced by the Macedonian Empire section from Europe to e Europe, Egypt and India. And from this time until the arrival of Rome, the Macedonians will share the events of a vast space for almost three centuries. And upon Alexander's death brought like the jet leading generals into conflict over the rule of the Empire. But first the rebellions of the Greeks were put down with a massacre of about 23,000 Greek mercenaries in Asia, and by the end of the uh, Lamina or Hellenic War, in which the Greek failed to win freedom yet again, uh, and by 3,500 BC, the Macedonian Empire was carved up between the dynasties of Antigonus the first, one eye, of Macedonian Greek, Ptolemy the first of Egypt, and selling. Seleucus in Asia and on the Antigenes Gon Etas from 276 to 239 BC, the grandson of Antigonus, the first Macedonian achieved a stable monarchy and strengthened its occupation of Greece, and his grandson Philip the Fifth from 222 to 179 BC clashed with Rome, which was now expanding eastward and then fought the, the two Macedonian wars against the Romans and after the Romans army defeated Philip in Thessaly, Macedonian lost the whole of Greece and was reduced to its original borders. And in the third Macedonian war the Rome finally defeated the Macedonian army under the last King of Philip's son, Perseus, from 179 to 168 BC. And at the Battle of Pydna, 20,000 Macedonian soldiers died while defending their lands. And Perseus died as a prisoner in what is now Italy. And the Macedonian kingdom ceased to exist. And by 146, Macedonia had become a Roman province. And in by 65 BC, Rome, Rome conquered the Seleucid Macedonian Kingdom in Asia, and the last king, Antiochus the 
7th and finally defeated Cleopatra the 7th in 30 BC and brought an end to the last of the Macedonian descendants in Egypt and with, with it, the last remains of the Macedonian Empire that was once the mightiest in the world and, well, and disappeared from the face of the earth. And in 51 AD, for the first time in European soil, the Macedonian towns Philippi, Thessalonica and Beroa, the Apostle Paul preached Christianity, and in 52 and 53 AD spent, sent epistles to people of Thessalonica, and in 57 he came to Macedonia again, and in 63 he sent epistles to people of Philippi, and during the 3rd and 4th centuries because of the gothic attacks from Macedonian towns built fortresses around them. Macedonia was divided into two provinces Macedonia Prima and Macedonia Salutaris and, and since the east-west split of the Roman Empire in 395 Macedonia was ruled by the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire. And it was known that the Emperor Justinian was born in Skopje, Macedonia, which is now in Macedonia. And in the 5th century, Macedonia was again divided into Macedonia Prima and Macedonia Secunda. And in the 6th century, in earthquakes. They have quite demolished Skopje, now Skopje, and Slavs overrun Macedonians and Macedonian both overran both Macedonia and Greece, and mixed with the ancient Macedonians and Greeks, and thus the foundation of modern Greek Macedonian Greeks nation were laid. And in the seventh century, the Turco Mongolic Bulgars, Mongolic Bul, guards into the Balkan Peninsula and populated Thrace and we mixed with the Slavs and the ancient Thracians who had already lived there and laid foundations of the modern Bulgarian nation. And in the 9th century while the Byzantine Empire still ruled by Macedonian emperors of the Macedonian dynasty, the Macedonian brothers Cyril and Lepidius from the largest Macedonian city of Salonika created the first Slavic alphabet found and founded the Slavic literacy and promoted Christianity among the Slavic people and their disciples Clement and Nam of Arid established the first Slavic university the Arid Literary School and 3,500 teachers, clergy, writers and other literary figures emerged from this Arid Literary School an activity was crowned by the lay, laying of foundations of a Slavonic culture, educational and ecclesiastical organisation where the Slavonic alphabet was used and the old Slavonic language was introduced into religious services. The establishment of a Slavic first Slavic bishop bishopric became later became an Ahid Archbishopric. During the reign of Samuel, who might have become the beginning of the Macedonian Orthodox Church. And in the first half of the 10th century, the Bogomil teaching appeared in Macedonia. Bogomilism had grown into a large scale popular movement and it spread through the Balkans in Europe. And the 10th century also marks the beginning of the first Macedonian Slavic state. And the kingdom of Tsar Samuel from 976 to 1014. It was in the 10th century. It was a weakening, weakening of, with a weakening of the Eastern Roman Empire. And with the first Bulgarian Empire apart. Tsar Samuel created a strong Macedonian medieval kingdom with its centre in Ovid. So when he conquered parts of Greek Epirus and large parts of Bulgaria, Albania, Serbia, Bosnia, Montenegro and Dalmatia, Dalmatia. 
and this was not a Bulgarian state but an independent Macedonian state with the capital of Arhid, Macedonia, not in Preslav, and Bulgaria where the Bulgarian kings ruled. Samuel was defeated in 1014 by Basil II in the Macedonian way, the Byzantine one, Battle of Mount Belasica, capturing 15,000 of his soldiers. All were blinded except one in every 100, who all left with one eye to lead the rest back to Samuel, who escaped to death at Belasica. And at the site, Samuel suffered a stroke and died two days later on October 6th, 1014. And after four centuries of the fall of the kingdom, rebellions of there were frequent declines and frequent changes of rule disputed by Macedonia's development. And in the 11th century, there were two major risings against the Byzantine, one ruled by led by Petar Delajan in 1040, who was Samuel's grandson, and the other by Georgi Vashto in 1072. The 12th century saw the rise of a Macedonian feudal laws Dobromir in 1201 and Stres in 1211. I'm getting really, my legs are getting like really sway. Well, despite the rebellions, the short lived Serbian Bulgarian occupations in the 13th and 14th century, Macedonia remained Byzantine territory until the Ottoman Turks conquered it in 1380. And the Turks firmly established themselves not only in Macedonia, but in all of the southern Balkans. And the Ottoman rule would last for five centuries. And the first significant resistance movement against the Turkish occupation were the Mariova Rebellion from uh, 1560. 1565, and a Karaposh uprising in 1689, and in the 18th century under the pressure of the Greek Patriarch in Istanbul, the Turks abolished the uh, Horrid Archbishopric, which had been kept alive the spiritual soul of the Macedonian since the times of Tsar Samuel. And in the 19th century, Greece, Serbia, and Bulgaria freed themselves from Turkish rule and actively become conspiring against the Macedonians, displaying terrorist social aspirations on the land. And these indigenous states all became different ways stalking horses for the aspirations of like, what would become the great European powers. And the so called Macedonian question appeared, which was not any, nothing else but a competition for a new conquest of Macedonia by their neighbours, as the Greeks, Bulgarians, and Serbs competed, employed many weapons in the conflict, including the opening of schools in an attempt to inculcate a particular linguist or conventional identity, and the control of ecclesiastical office influence over the course of railway building and diplomatic attempts to secure the ear of Turkish Sultan and the Greeks and the Bulgarians began sending guerrilla bands into Ma Macedonia to and use terror to convince the population of its true identity. But the Macedonians strove to develop their own national conscience and began organising themselves for fight against the Turks at the same time a process that the their neighbours tried to, to interrupt. Thus, the 19th century is a period of growth, growing national awareness among the Macedonian people, and a conquest for a free and independent Macedonia. So, yeah, as literacy, literacy and education flourish and the foundations of modern Macedonian literature were laid, the leading uh, activists were Guru Pechinovic. Drew Kim Kuchowski Partenija Sokoranski Georgiadji 
Faleski, Jordan Hadis Constantino, De Diz Innot Dimitar, and Constantin Miladino, Gregor Prisev, and Kuzmin Sevkarev. Sorry for botched any of that. The second half of the 19th century was marked by the beginning of the national revolutionary struggle for the liberation of Macedonia. And the Ras Lodzi and Krasna uprisings in 1876 and 1878 respectively had a strong influence over the growth of Macedonian national awareness. And Bishop Theodosius of Skopje started a campaign for the independent Macedonian Orthodox Church and tried to restore the Arid Archbishop which had been abolished in 1767 and the Bulgarians effectively destroyed the idea and in 1897 the Macedonian Revolutionary Organization known as VMRO Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization <laughs> had more water than that what I wish given was found in the great Macedonian city of Salonika with Gotse Delcha as its leader. Bit easier to say that one. Its objectives were national freedom and the establishment of an autonomous Macedonian state with the slogan of Macedonia for the Macedonians. Delcha's famous words were I understand the words as a field for cultural competition among nation by nations and he, those you believe that answer of our national liberation lies in Bulgaria, Slobari, Siberia, Serbia, S Siberia or something else that will probably come from. Serbia and Greece may consider themselves a good Bulgarian, a good Serb or a good Greek, but not a good Macedonian. And in 1903, a group of Macedonian revolutionaries known as Gemidzi carried out a series of attacks on the number of buildings in Salonika in the draw of the attention of the European public towards the situation of the Macedonian people. Later on August, on August the 2nd, 1903, VMRO launched the Indian uprising against the Turks and declared Macedonia independent. Macedonia is an independent state as the revolutionaries liberated the kind of Khrushchev and established Republic of Khrushchev with its own government and the uprising was crushed by the Turks eventually but the Macedonian question therefore aroused intense international concern as the greatest powers made several attempts to impose reform on the party including the sending of their own officers to supervise the Gremide and in fact it was the first international peacekeeping force, and although the revolt was suppressed, Macedonians remember the beast victory as a key date in the country's history and the event in tried and trying. I have no idea where I'm also with the script. <laughs> Great powers my attempt. And although the revolt was suppressed, Macedonians remember the beast victory in the country's history and the event is enshrined in Macedonians Macedonia's constitution and in the year 1903 Christi from Pala Pala Prostol Prostol one of the most no, it's really one of the most outstanding names in the history of Macedonia and culture and the founder of modern Macedonian lecture early language and orthology published on his Macedonian matters in which he projected the principles of standardization of a Macedonian literary language. And in nineteen oh eight a Young Turk Revolution, the Young Turk movement, led by the Young Turk Committee, had the aim of reforming the Turkish country and making social and political reforms in Macedonia. And Macedonian Revolutionary Organization through J. Sandan Sandas and the newly formed National Federal Party 
actually took part in the Young Turk movement for achieving autonomy for Macedonia. I just had a notification from YouTube. And in 1912, Greece, Serbia and Bulgaria joined the force to defeat the Bulgarian army in Macedonia. And 100,000 Macedonians also participated in helped the Turkish evacuation, but the victors did not reward them. And the Treaty of London in May 1913, which concluded the First Balkan War, left Bulgaria dissatisfied with the partition of Macedonia among the Allies, which resulted after a war, as Bulgaria's attempt to enforce a new partition of the Salkut. Second Balkan War failed, and a Treaty of Bucharest in August 1913. Confirming a pattern of boundaries with small variations have remained in force ever since. And having failed to achieve independence in 1903, the Macedonians now divided were left there to their new masters, Greek, with Greece's and Greece took the biggest flanks of and half of Macedonia, Aegean Macedonia, and renamed it to Northern Greece. Bulgaria annexed Pirin, the Pirin region, and polished the Macedonian name, and Serbian took over the Badar region and renamed it to southern Serbia. In Pasich of Serbia and E. Venizelos of Greek agreed on the newly formed Greek Serbian border so that there would only be would be only served in northern North End, only Greek and set into the South, and no Macedonians on either side. And thus, the political assimilation had begun as Macedonians' geographic, natural, and ethnic side. Ethnic unity was destroyed by their neighbours as an intense campaign took place in all three parts of Macedonia to impose foreign identities upon the population that stood in. Tra- of the controlling states and Vidar Macedonia. Vidar Macedonia Serbs labelled Macedonians with the South name South Serbs and in Aegean Macedonia the Greeks called them as Lathone Greeks and Makdoslavs and in other insulting names while in Purin Macedonia the Macedonians were simply just called Bulgarians and in 1914 with World War when World War One erupted, Bulgarian sided with the Macedonian Central Powers, and in 1915 it occupied the Serbian-held parts of Macedonia. But the defeat of the Central Powers and the end of World War Two in One World War One in 1918 saw so the partition of uh, 1913. We confirmed the Macedonia was left divided, and the Paris Peace Conference. Demands of the Macedonians for independence and United Macedonians were ignored, and the Vidar Macedonia was reincorporated to the rest of Serbia and into the new kingdom of Serbs and Croats and Slovenes, which was named Yugoslavia. And since 1913, official Greece, official Greece has been trying to banish like the Macedonian names of villages, towns, cities, rivers and lakes in Aegean Macedonia. And for example, like little streams with issues from Mount Olympus and flows into Aegean Sea was labelled Maroenri, or Black which was known as Blackwater on the map, made by Greek cartographers after nineteen thirteen. However the same year Rivers appears as Saran Reka in a, nat- a native Macedonian name meaning Black Rivers. Black River. And on the maps before 1913. Kutlesh had been dropped for uh, Regina and Kokush, Kokush for Kilis and together with at least 300 places over a gene Macedonian would be named. And they were also forced to renounce their native family names and use only new Greek sounding names. Now, when in 1995 to in 1995, Human Rights Watch, Helsinki was a witness that 
you can say the Macedonians of Prince Gary the first and last Macedonian names during the dictatorship of Shalomitaxis. And Macedonians were exposed to brutal oppression. The Macedonian language was forbidden despite the fact under the suppression of the League of Nations, Greece had recognised its existence as a distinct language when it was published by the Prime Abekada for the needs of the Macedonian children in 1924. And in 1930s, the Macedonians in Greece were punished for speaking their native language by drinking castor oil and were persecuted for expressing their national identity. Yet despite the triple persecution, the Macedonians never really abandoned their nationality. And the period between the two world, world wars also filled with constant endeavours to change the situation of Macedonia and all the visions of the country and its people. And in 1925, the VMRO, United, was founded, founded in Vienna under the leadership of Dimitar Fadahov, Pavel Satev, Gigo, Georgi Sankov, Rizov, Vladimir Poptimov, and Chankov and the main objective was to free Macedonia within its geographical and economical borders and to create an independent political unit that was to become an equal member of the future Balkan Federation. Uh, and in 1935, MANAPA Macedonian National Movement was founded in Nirvana Vada, part of Macedonia, and in 1938, the first collection of poems, Fire Adrin, from Renko Markovsky, was published in Macedonia, and in 1939, publication of White's Dawn, Beli Mugri, a collection of poems in Macedonian form, from the first modern Macedonian poet, Koko Rasin, and in 1940, the Macedonian democratic groups in Macedonia defy political program for a nation and social liberation of a country and with World War II burning throughout Europe by this point Yugoslavia was invaded by the Germans in April of 1941 and Bulgaria which was now fascist again occupied all, almost all of Macedonia but Befedar and Ajin and they collaborated with the Nazis for the departure of the Jews of Salonika to their deaths. And in October 11th, 1941, the Macedonians launched a war to live for the liberation of Macedonia from the Bulgarian occupation. And by 1943, the anti fascist sentiment led land support for a growing communist movement. And soon after, the Communist Party of Macedonia was established. In the same year, the first unit of the Army of Macedonia was founded. Bodies of government such as National Liberation Councils were formed over the whole territory of Macedonia and the headquarters for the National Liberation Army, NOV, published a manifesto of their goals of the War of Liberation and the first session of the Anti-Fascist Assembly and the National Liberation of Macedonian ASNOM was held in the monasteries of St. Prohor Prekinsky on 2nd of August 1944 on the 31st anniversary of the Ilden uprising. Representatives from all parts of Macedonia, including Purin and the Argean parts of the country, gathered for the occasion and decided the constitution of the modern Macedonia. In state as a member of the new Yugoslav Federation and the name of the People's Republic of Macedonia. The ASNOM Presidium was formed by Metodija and Dona and Donov, who was the first president, and the decision was reached to the constitution of the first modern Macedonian country and will become part of a new federal Yugoslavia. On, in April 40, 1945, the first Macedonian government was founded with Lazar Kalisevsky as its first president, 
They are here. Ah, uh, Special Brick was restored in 1958, and its auto was declared in 1967, and the Macedonians are finally free. In one part of free, in one of the free parts of Macedonia. And in Greece, after the Farkas Agreement of December 1945, the use of Macedonian name and the Macedonian language were once again prohibited in the Aegean part of Macedonia. And the Greek authorities started playing a terror against the Macedonians, and in the period Uh, 1945 to 46 alone, according to some statistics, 400 murders were registered, and 440 girls, women, and girls were raped, and 13,529 in on Greek islands. 8,145 were imprisoned in Greek prisons. 4,209 were indicted. 3,215 sentenced to prison, and 13 driven. Made by torture in prisons and 45 villages were abandoned, 80 villages were pillaged and 1,605 families were plundered and 1,943 families were evicted. And therefore during the Greek Civil War that followed World War II from 1946 to 1949 Macedonians of the Aegean Macedonian fought on the side of the Greek Communist Party, KKE, simply because it promised them the rights after the war and out of 35,000 soldiers of DAG, about half were Macedonians, and the liberated territory covering mainly the territory of the Aegean Macedonians. Into seven Macedonian schools were opened for 100,000 pupils, and new papers in Macedonia were published. Nepo Karen, Zara Dins, Warwick and the culturally and culturally and artistic associations were created. But after two years of KKE's success in the Civil War, the United States decided to step up against them. As the United States were afraid that Greece would become another communist country. With the military support that came with the United States and Great Britain, the communists lost the war and the Macedonians were once again stripped of their human rights. Yes, yeah, so but like things like human rights that makes some people happy, kind of thing. And the defeat of DAG resulted in terrible consequences for the Macedonians. And 28,000 Aegean Macedonian children, known as child refugees, were separated from their families and settled in Eastern Europe and Soviet Union in an attempt to save them from the terror that followed. And thousands of Mal Macedonians lost their lives for the liberty of their people. A great number of Macedonian villages were burned down, just like the Greek army burned Kokush and the surrounding villages in the Balkan Wars. And in the late 1950s, the inhabitants of several villages in the districts of Florina, Lerin, Castoria, Castor, and Edissa, Woden. They're forced to take those in which they swore never again to speak the local Slavic idiom, but to speak only Greek instead. They had a policy on denationalisation, continued to meet resistance among the Macedonians, and the Macedonian languages continue to be spoken in everyday communication, and folklore is an expression of a Macedonian national affiliation, and the Macedonian movement for Balkan prosperity within it main office in Salonika. Most organisations have been asking for the international factors of the Greek government for legalisation of the national and political rights of Macedonians in Greece. Now in the political, political changes after the capitulation of fascist Bulgaria in a coup d'etat on the 7th and the 9th of September 1944 positively influenced the historical statements of the Macedonians from the period part of Macedonia, as the Communist Party of Bulgaria under the leadership of Georgi Dimitrov on the 9th of August 
1946, officially recognised the Macedonian nation and the rights of the Pyrrhean part of Macedonia to be attached to the People's Republic of Macedonia and the Macedonians in Bulgaria exist as a separate nationality on the Bulgarian census after World War II. And their demography, data from 1946 reveal that the majority of the population of Pyrrhean part of Macedonia declared itself as Macedonian in a free census and a period of cultural autonomy and reformation of the Macedonian national and cultural values had begun as the Macedonian literary language and national history have been introduced into the educational process and about 32,000 pupils were in, included in the teaching of Macedonian and in, and in 1947 in Gornet the Jumaja Barokovgrad, now, like now, first Macedonian bookstore and reading room were opened, as well as the regional Macedonian National Theatre and newspapers in Macedonia, such as Prince Cordero, Nova Macedonia, Maled Borak, and so on and so forth, were published. Military circles and cultural and artistic associations were found in contributing to the spreading of the Macedonian culture and in the Bulgarian sentence, sentence, census of 1956, 63.7% of the population in the Pyrrhean declared itself as Macedonian and was in since 1956 Bulgarian has altered their attitudes negating the sentence of the Macedonian language and forbidding the expression of Macedonian nationality and language and the idea of a uh, foreign forced and as a result of the census of 1965 the number of Macedonians dropped to about 8,750 and in the district of Bledkovgrad which previously had the highest percentage of Macedonians uh, it was less than 1% but well, the fact the Macedonians exist in Bulgaria cannot be denied as such. And the Times Atlas of World History acknowledges in the map that Perian Macedonia is entirely populated by Macedonians. And the recent archaeological discovery in Haji and Macedonia in Greece confirmed that the Bulgarians have engaged in falsification of the history of Macedonia ever since the 19th century and finally the Macedonians in Bulgaria began organising themselves in, in, in 1989 United Macedonian Organisation then LMO then was formed demanding cultural and national autonomy by the Macedonians in Pyrin you and Federal Yugoslavia was disintegrating yeah, at the beginning of the 1990s. On uh, the 8th of September 1991, in a referendum, 95% of all eligible voters approved their independence and sovereignty of the Republic of Macedonia. Kiro Grigorov was elected the first president of an independent Macedonia in the new constitution, determining the Republic of Macedonia as a sovereign, independent, civil, and democratic state and it recognised the great equality of Macedonians and the ethnic minority as it read Macedonia is constituted as a national country of a Macedonian people which guarantees complete civil equality and permanent mutual living of a Macedonian people with, Al with Albanians, Turks, Vlachs, Roma and other nationalities living in the Republic of Macedonia. And although the European Community acknowledged that Macedonia had fulfilled the requirements for the official recognition due to a position due to a position in Greece, which is already a member of the community, the EC decided to postpone the recognition. Greece afraid that Macedonia might put forward a historical and cultural and um, linguistic claim over Argean Macedonians, insisted that the new that the new nation had has no right to use the use of a name Macedonia 
and the emblem of ancient Macedonia on its flag. And in July 1992, demonstrations by 100,000 Macedonians in the castle of Skopje over the failure to receive recognition. Well, despite Greek objections, Macedonia was admitted to the United Nations on the temporary reference. And the temporary reference, not the initial name of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia in 1993. And the fall of diplomatic relations of a number of EC nations followed while Russia, China, Turkey, Bulgaria, and most nations ignored Greece's objections and recognized Macedonia under its new constitutional name of Republic of Macedonia. And Greece, Greece strapped, strapped a, a trade embargo on Macedonia on February 1994 because of a refusal to of the Macedonian president Gilgoro to rename the country, nation, lang and language and change the constitution because article 47 specified that the Republic of Macedonia cares for the state statute and rights of those persons belonging to the Macedonian people in neighbouring countries as well as Macedonian ex parties to assist their cultural development and various links with them. Ironically, Greece also has similar article in her constitution, and as any other country would, to care for her minorities in the neighbouring countries. But the embargo had devastating impact on Macedonia's economy, as the country was cut off from the port of Salonika, and became landlocked because the UN embargo on Yugoslavia in the north, and, Greece, and the Greek embargo to the south. Greece would remove it, would remove it, but embargo only if Macedonia satisfies their demand. And despite international criticism, it did not lift the embargo. And at the same time, Greece withdrew from the Greek Macedonia talks, monitored by the UN as a mediator, but and blocked any exceptions of the Macedonian into an international into institutions by using its powers to veto new members. Faced with economic collapse without any support from the international community, Macedonia was practically forced to change its flag and constitution upon which Greece lifted the embargo, their embargo. And in 1995, Human Rights Watch Helsinki condemned Greece for the oppression of the ethnic Macedonian minority, which Greece denies it it exists. Both Amnesty International and European Parliament had also urged Greece to recognise the existence of the Macedonian language and stop the oppression of the ethnic Macedonians. And then in 1994, Kirill Gurkhova was re elected as president, but he was on seriously injured in a car in an accident in 1995 in a car bombing. And he was able to resume his duties a year later in 1996. And tensions with the Albanian minority continued as some Albanian politicians began criticising the Macedonian government and in, on the international scene. As the Albanians were a very small minority in Macedonia since after World War II, and since then they immigrated in great numbers from Albania into Macedonia looking for a better life, and the Macedonians opened its doors to them. And by 1953, they comprised about 15.5% of Macedonia's population, and any other, and any of the other smaller minorities. And today, the Albanians claim that their human rights are not fulfilled in Macedonia. So the statistical numbers are much higher than the record: 23% in the census of 1990. In the 1990s, and they demand a cultural autonomy in the northwestern Macedonia, where they live in great in the greatest numbers among Macedonians. And this, despite the fact that Macedonia has always provided its Albanian minority with freedom of having TV, radio, newspapers, elementary and high schools in their own language, and even ministers and governments. And despite the fact that the international observers monitor the census of 1991 and 1994, they think. Macedonians and Greek, Greece, Bulgaria, and Albania were lose minimal human rights and not suspected at all. And one 
one more thing regarding Albania. That's to me that the Albanians claim that they are descendants of ancient Albanians, like the Western neighbours of ancient Macedonians, and some Albanians have gone. That's why I was claiming parts of Macedonia as well as parts of Serbia, Montenegro, and Greece as Greater Albania. And it's like, and it's, some people argue that Albanians are not direct descendants of ancient Albanians, and in fact, their original home has never been modern Albania. And since ancient times, Albania was located in Asia in, on the Caucasus. As ancient Greek and Roman historians clearly mentioned that the Albanians were fighting on the side of the Persians against Macedonia. The Romanian army, army against the Macedonian army of Alexander Greek and Plutarch. Very that they fought the Roman army under Potomi in Asia as well. And the Asian geographers Potomi of Alexandria around the 2nd century AD and Strabo made clear maps of Albania in Asia as well as of Macedonia separate from Greece, Illyria and Thrace. The Albanians came to Europe and settled in present day Albania many centuries later, becoming the latest arrivals on the Balkans and they were being monitored for the first time in many European centuries after uh, many centuries after the arrivals of the Slavs and Bulgars and by the time of arrival the modern Macedonian, Greek and Bulgarian nations were already in the process of formation of the roots of the ancient Macedonian, Greek and Croatian peoples but the ancient Albanians were far more assimilated and their name disappeared from history and the Albanians were therefore recognised as descendants of the Illyrians, all other links between the ancient Balkan nation is the weakest out of all modern, nation, modern nations due to the enormous time span. And so many more modern Greeks are descendants from the ancient Greeks with Slavs and Turkish admixtures. And the modern Bulgarians are descendants from the ancient populations of Bulgar and Slav admixture. And the fact that these three nations were quite aware of their own histographies. In addition, the fact that the Albanians have retained the original Albanian name and not the Illyrian, like Ma unlike the Macedonians and Greeks, who still carry their ancient name. And furthermore, support the fact that. They are direct descendants of the ancient Albi Asian Albanians and not of the ancient European Illyrians. So, yeah, I essentially. Sorry it took almost an hour, but here we go with language and legends quickly, as it takes up only about three pages instead of ten pages. No, it's like Macedonian, as Macedonian is the official language of Macedonia, it's also the most widely spoken language in the country, and there are six other languages that are officially recognised as a minority in the country, like in, and several foreign languages like English, German, French, and so the Croatian are spoken in all Macedonia. And the official language of Macedonia is Macedonian, and it was declared as a nation's official language in 1945, it is a self-Slavic language and has 1.4 to 2.5 million native speakers in the country. It is mainly spoken by ethnic Macedonians in Macedonia and in Macedonians diaspora in other parts of the world, as the Macedonian language enjoys the status of being the an official minority language in Central Euro certain European nations like Romania, Serbia, and Albania and, and Albania. And Macedonia is used widely in the government administration, business, media and public life of the country and the language is often is written using the Syriac alphabet. And there are six minority languages spoken in Macedonia. Also well, have been formally recognised by the country. And if one, any of these languages spoken by 20% or more of the population of the particular me municipality in the nation, the language will be regarded as co-official along with Macedonian. And first of those languages, Albanian, which is 7.3 million, 
speakers worldwide, mainly in Albania. And it's working in the southwestern and northwestern sections of the Republic. There's also Turkish. And it's mainly spoken in Turkey with about 70 million speakers worldwide. And Macedonia Turkish language is spoken in the ethnic Turks and normal community con communities concentrating in the places of Republic. Like Gustavar, Skopje, and Rancistic. Yeah, like here where they have high concentration of Turk Turkish speaking communities. There's Romani, which is the native language of the Romani people. It's a European language that has many varieties, and in Macedonia, Balkan Romani is the most spoken variety of Romani. And one example of a large Romani speaking community in Macedonia is a Suta Ariza. B. And there's also Serbian, which is spoken by the Serbian community, community across one of the six official recognised minority languages in Macedonia, and is primarily spoken in Macedonia in Staro Nagari Kane and Sarasan Devil in municipalities of the country. And there's also Bosnian which is native language of the Bosniaks and is spoken in the in Macedonian municipalities of Velez and municipality of Velez and in Skopje of Macedonia and there's a Romanian which is an Eastern Rom Romance language spoken in Aramina or a Welch living in southeastern Europe and in Ma Macedonian Aromian speakers are finally found in Kosovo in ta town of the country. A number of foreign languages are spoken in Macedonia including French, English, German and Serbo Croatian. As English is more popular and popular among the Macedonian youth. And growing in popularity in the country as English classes are offered in educational institutions of the nation, as well as German and Serbo Croatian that are also spoken by a young German nation. And a larger section of the Macedonian society has knowledge of the French, German, and Serbo Croatian and Russian languages, so yeah. Now moving on to legends and all, quickly and all, as I'm sure you'll probably all be bored to death by now of me talking about Macedonia. Maybe not Macedonia, but we'll probably like to get it done soon as. There's Ma Macedonian Slavic mythology is a collection of brief belonging to the culture of Macedonia. It originates from the historical Slavic religious beliefs of the early Slavs that settled in Macedonia. The works of the myths are influenced by greco roman Roman mythology. As there's like many mythical cre creatures like the Narogeni Sea, which is a demonic creature that has thought to have power to predict the destiny, destiny of a newborn baby. And usually presented as three women. Narogeni Sea arrived on the third night of following the birth of a child and as some were presented as three sisters, two evil ones and a good one and the younger sister undoes the evil curses of the two e older evil sisters when there's some of Ely, which are kind of like fairies in a way as they presented as pretty girls with golden hair and wings who live in mountains near water as Samovili was said to have been born from the dew of flowers, either at times when it rained while the sun was shining or under a rainbow. They were they serve as a steal their clothes and their wings are removed and they transform into a real woman. Then is Zemi, who were creatures with human features that have a tail of a snake, golden wings and tremendous physical strength. Zemi 
believe either in caves or mountaintops and are said to be extremely intelligent and are attracted to female beauty and capture their young women to take them into their remote lairs. Then there's Lamia, which is a large creature born from a snake's head store and the horn of buffalo. <laughs> and the big Lamia has a god's hair with big sharp teeth, four legs and big sharp nails and a tail of, and a body that is covered in fish scales. And Lamia usually live in caves and guard secret treasures. Then is Zetia, who are female creatures with long hair and fish like tails, much like a mermaid, and live in de depths of lakes. Then is the vampire Vampiri, which is kind of like a vampire, is, as Macedonia hosted several types of vampires, like the vampire husbands or sexual partners. Partner come back to life to impregnate his wife if she has not conceived while he was alive. And the vampire housekeeper returns to the family through additional castle or money. And there is an evil vampire that damages land and cattle. And vampire butchers frequently work in local butcheries. Vampire animals transform from dead man or vampire into an animal, often a dog or a similar creature. There are always that. There are like many others. Like Taz Sami. And there's also giants, dwarves, Truma, Allah, and Frog. I mean, my my F wants to go Google more. Google more. And there's Topi Topo nymphs that relate to the Slavic gods and or mythological creatures. There's Makosh, is a top nurse that relates to the goddess of fertility, woman's work and woman's happiness. So yeah, that essentially winds everything up for the day and I'll see you all tomorrow. So yeah, over half an hour.